Legends, welcome back. Now, after the last DSA video installment, the Legends had some questions. So, of course, you know, I have to get the questions addressed and get the responses. And here we are. Let's go. All right. We already know what Spritz says. It's the ability to off-ramp your funds, pay your bills, pay your mortgage, pay your Apple Pay, Netflix, whatever you want to pay your mortgage or send money to people. Okay, let's get to the Q&A. All right. First question that came from Legends was how much fun, how much funds or crypto can you load onto the card? You can load up to $20,000 in one transaction. So if you say, well, L7, I want to load $100,000, you just need to do five transactions of $20,000. You have $100,000 on the card. Boom. There is no limit on the card. Question is, what does the card state or why does the card state limited use? Those words there to let you know that you cannot withdraw funds from an ATM. I'll delve into that in a second. So that's why they're there. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about right here. It says limited use when you flip the card over. It's just just there because you can't use it as an ATM card. How can I see all the card information? All you have to do is click on the little I or the I icon next to your card number. So when you go into the app, you click this, it'll flip over to this. And you can see your full number, your issue date, and your CVV number is right here. Then what about the physical card? They say at this time, they only have the virtual. They're considering the physical card. So I did put that in, in his request and I will make sure that I send the email to Mr. Sheenan, which is the CEO. Tell them that we'd like to have the physical card. However, you know, some people don't want to pay, say it's $5 for the card or whatever, because sometimes it's not free. So the, the question begs to differ. Do we really need the physical card? Because you can do everything with the card as it is now. And I mean everything, everything that you can do with a regular debit card. Let's continue on again. So here's the difference between the front of the card, then when you click the eye icon, it flips over to this. So now you can see everything that's here. Like it says, the virtual account, as we know right now, it's only available in the U.S. Okay. Then say, I put too much money on the card. Can I remove it? So say you put $100,000 on the card and then you realize, oh, I only needed $50,000 on there. It's too late. You're going to have to spend the money off the card. It, you cannot just remove it like a debit card. It does not work like that. So please heed the word that you have to be ensured that if you only want a certain amount on there, that's all you put on there. Where can you use the card? Everywhere worldwide that accepts the Visa card. So you can be here in Brazil. Oh, if I was in back in Costa Rica, if I'm in Germany, or if I'm going to Japan to visit my daughter, it doesn't matter wherever you are. If they accept Visa, you can use the card there. Now here's some other useful information. No, you can't add the rewards of your cards to the account and spend it. You can only take those rewards and send them to your bank account or use those rewards, you know, right from there straight. Yeah, just it's easy just to put them into your account and then spend it that way. Make it simple. Then seeing your transactions, you're going to you can't see the transaction. It doesn't track them like your debit card does with your regular bank. So if you went out and spent $20 a day, $20 tomorrow, $30, you need to keep track yourself of what you're spending on to make the thing is that it's prepaid. So it's not like you could go over the limit, but just for your sake of budgeting, you want to be able to keep track of whatever you're doing. And remember, this is a this the card is a debit card, not a credit card. It's prepaid because you're loading your crypto on there, then you're using it. Now, the smart pay is available which is setting up your house note. You can say, okay, well, I got enough money in my drip account. So I wanted to pull the money out each month to pay my mortgage payment, but it's only available on Polygon right now. Binance Smart Chain is in the works. I definitely asked about that one because that's the one I, I personally use. So right now you can set it up, but you, it's only on Polygon. I don't know, but I guess it really doesn't matter if it's on Polygon or not, I guess you can just pull the money from wherever it's at, load it into the account. Hmm. I'm going to have to check into that and see if it's another way to do it. I'll check into that. And here, so this is what pops up when you first get into the Spritz card. It says your Spritz card is the fastest way to use your crypto in the real world. We already know. Enjoy no transaction fees. 
on purchases and no annual fee. Load your prepaid crypto debit card with any token or stable coin on our supported networks. As you can see, then a switch card is digital only. Use it anywhere online or IRL by connecting it to a digital wallet such as Apple Pay or Google Wallet, which I did yesterday as well. And at and then you can pay at any Visa merchant worldwide. It says you will pay blockchain network fees and spritz fees when you load your card, but there are no additional transaction fees when you make a purchase. And there are no annual fees to keep the card open. Bam. Yep. <laughs> it's just that simple. All right, again, so legends, you already know. Options, options, options. We want the best available options for the legends so we can act legendarily and continue to be legends. All right, so we already know this is right now, this is the hottest off-ramp that's out there. I haven't seen one that even comes close to the limited amount of KYC you have to have and the ability to move it to where you want. Okay, so especially without having to go to a CEX like Binance, Coinbase, or Crypto.com. So already know we could pay your bills, all types of bills, your mortgage, your electric, your cable, all your utilities, your internet, your car note, everything. And you can use different tokens and coins to pay. The debit card is here, as we saw, and because we already eliminated the middleman, no CEX is in the middle. Multiple changes supported. It's Web3 ready. And also, your first $100 a month in transaction fees are free each month. I even addressed this in the Q&A with Mr. Sheenan, if you didn't watch it, because I had asked specifically if it was only like a promotional offer, like for January, February, March. He said, no, that's just the way it is. So at the first $100 of transaction fees every month are free, period, period, period. So right at this time, the U.S. is only available with Spritz Finance right now. I know Canada is coming up next because I guess he's staying close to home. And as the expansion continues, I will definitely be updating the legends. You know, I'm going to always going to keep you in the link in the note. So the link is in the description. If you signed up, like I say, I got my card. I'm ready to go. I'm just going to load it up and have fun with it. Put it on my phone. And, oh, yeah. The digital app is coming as well. So it'll be an app, app, app. Not so much as going to the website and getting into the phone. So as always, it's for informational, educational purposes only. Never intended as any type of financial advisor because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm here sharing my information that I have attained with the legends to ensure that they always stay in the know. Because I'm not no financial advisor. So do what you got to do. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And to all of my legends, engage.